Hello and welcome. I'm Sarah Bowen, principal of Fallsburg Elementary, which the school is grades preschool through eighth grade. And with me, I have Angel Ward, my guidance counselor, Randy McDavid, middle school teacher, six through eight for social studies. And I have Mrs. Penny Brees, third grade teacher, reading, math, and all the above. So this is our presentation for the Fire Summit for our ACT presentation. Favor, our problem of practice. Teachers will purposefully utilize assessments to personalize instruction for students. Students will share data with stakeholders, coaches, and parents. And our goal is for students to be aware of their own learning through data tracking and goal setting by using data notebooks while focusing on relationships. Some of our short-term goals um, is increased achievement as evidenced by our Math and Star data, common assessment data, and our big one this year was to improve relationships with our students. Our long-term goals is for our students to become lifelong learners, increase student achievement, increase student engagement, and for the middle school students to become transition ready. And kind of our explanation of our goal, this year we wanted to strive for every child to own their own learning. Each grade level had their own twist of how coaching was presented with students, and that is what my other ladies are going to be diving in and explaining to you. And also with this goal, we wanted to focus on relationships with our students. That was our big thing this year, is to make sure that our students knew that they had someone and and later on, and you'll see kind of the twist that we came up with, but we wanted to make sure that students knew that they had someone to go to, even if it was just about academics, if it was about personal issues. So we wanted to really focus on that with our entire school. So, so I'm gonna be doing the primary part. And so primary, which we looked at K through two, and we're gonna discuss about what it looks like in primary. Uh, every student, kindergarten through eighth grade has a data notebook and and it's different when you're a k-8 school because um each grade level will look completely different when you have kindergarten eighth grade so you have to kind of have to approach it differently so students have their data notebooks and it gets parents more involved you know we used to have like data nights and that would be from five to seven you know you would have maybe three or four parents come in we just didn't really have a great um, participation with parents. We had the, the same parents all the time. So last, not this past year, but the year before, what we did is we uh, incorporated our data parties with a party that was during school, like Halloween, Christmas. Uh, we were going to do Easter, but we're not there. So students had an opportunity. They took the first 10 to 15 minutes before parties and students explained their data to their parents. So if you see, look at the pictures, and you see it's Halloween because we've got, um, looks like a Power Ranger and uh, some sort of dinosaur looking thing. Um, these are kindergarten students. And these, are, these students are explaining their data and their goals to their parents. Parents sign off, we have a list of questions uh, to help parents ask appropriate questions about goals. Um, and, and that kind of helps guide the parents because we noticed that the first time last year, we weren't very specific. So we learned, oh, we need specific questions for parents to ask. That way they knew exactly what to ask. So we had a great turnout. I mean, we averaged, you know, a classroom that has 20 students, we averaged probably 17 of those students had parents. And so the ones that did not have parents, because every parent, every child doesn't have a parent that comes in and, you know, work or, or busy. So we made sure that our activity teachers, uh, myself, Mrs. Ward, anybody that was extra, we scheduled extra adults in the rooms during the parties. So we kind of staggered the parties. That way every student would have someone um, that they would be able to explain their data to and we would sign off. So it, that has been the best thing I think that we have implemented um, with, with data, especially for our younger kids. And, and Mrs. McDavid will go into the middle school and Ms. Priest will go into the intermediate, but that, that's been a great, a great addition to that. 
Also, this year, something new um, we implemented in our primary was guided reading groups. And this, um, our primary kids are following the Jane Richardson plan, and uh, our teachers meet with groups every day. So if you look at the pictures, um, like Mrs. Miss May has four students, Mrs. Sammons has three. Our teachers had very intensive instruction on how to do this. So students set goals based on their reading levels. This is also reflected in their data notebook. And students meet with this teacher every day. And so if you know anything about the Jane Richardson plan, um, it, it's very specific and each child has their own data sheet. And that teacher uses that daily to guide those students in those small guided reading groups. It, it has been amazing. I'm really disappointed because we, we didn't get to finish, you know, hopefully we will, but we have not been able to see, you know, this last nine weeks kick it in gear to see that data from where it started at the beginning of the year to the end because our students grew tremendously moving levels. And students know if I would go pick one of these students out in the, in the hallway, I would say, uh, what level are you on? He's like, well, I started a C, but I'm on an L now. Students knew exactly where they were. Um, and, and teachers really worked very hard because this is something new that we started this year. And all of Lawrence County started it this year. And they worked very hard with learning the program, implementing the program. And next year, we really want to do this in math as well. So this is something new for our primary um, groups.